Howdy everyone, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, as you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator is a pretty cool simulation game for flying airplanes. But, what if you don't want to fly airplanes in Flight Simulator? Well, if you remember, uh, a few months ago, someone actually managed to get a boat DLC onto Flight Simulator, like a whole yacht, like a luxury yacht. But, what if you don't want to sail on the seas either in Flight Simulator? What if you just want to stay on the ground? Well, now someone else got a <laughs> car DLC onto the Flight Simulator Marketplace, and for only $9.99 plus tax, you can actually have your own Corvette C8 in Flight Simulator. So naturally, I wanted to get it and see what this was all about. So I got it, and now we're going to start off simple and just start from the Philadelphia International Airport and start on the runway with my Corvette C8 here. And as you can see, it's actually a very nice car. In fact, in a lot of ways, compared to the boat DLC, this car has a lot to it. Like, this is almost like a Forza kind of car with the amount of details and features in it. So the third-person camera is kind of far away from the car, but the interior is actually very nice. And you can you can do a lot inside. You can open the trunk. You can open the glove box. You can open both doors on the side. Uh, you can turn on, like, the high beams and a bunch of other stuff. It's actually a really fully featured car. But the most important thing, of course, is that this car is drivable. So let's drive on a runway now. And I mean, as you can see, the car has airplane controls to it, which makes sense because this is still a flight simulator. I think, like, technically speaking, the car is just like an airplane without the aerodynamics. So it just stays on the ground the entire time. So when you throttle the car up uh, without, like, any, like, aerodynamics to it, I think you're pretty much just, I think you're literally just taxiing the car the entire time in aviation terms. Uh, but yeah, so it is drivable though, and you do use the rudders to steer the car left and right, and then throttle down to brake. There is a parking brake as well, of course. But yeah, I mean, while driving, we could, you know, we could go in first person, we could still mess with the, all the controls inside the car. But, you know, just like in real life, because this is a simulator, distracted driving uh, is not good and can result in accidents like this because I forgot to keep an eye on the, the runway while I was messing with all the doors and stuff. But by default, if you had the photogrammetry setting on, which is on by default, driving on a runway is probably like the only like nice place to drive. If you try to drive on like the regular roads in the game, uh, I mean, these roads weren't really meant to be driven on in the first place. So they are very, very bumpy. And that's because the way photogrammetry works in Flight Simulator is that it takes like a 2D image and kind of like simulates a 3D model out of it, which it works pretty well usually, but the problem is it results in like a lot of bumps on the road and stuff like that. So that's why it's like very difficult to drive on the roads that aren't runways. Uh, but you could turn the photogrammetry setting off and you won't have as many like drastic bumps, but you'll still have bumps here and there and it still won't be the smoothest to drive. And even when you're inside a city, like here we're pretty much driving into center city Philadelphia, the roads are still pretty bumpy, but because of like the way the satellite images work um, and the way it simulates the plants and everything all around the city, uh, the entire city of Philadelphia, and probably any city out there, uh, <laughs> looks like it's been abandoned. <laughs> like it's like a post-apocalyptic civilization. And you know, the whole city's been like overrun by trees and other plants. And there's barely any cars or, yeah, there's barely anything in the city aside from, like, plants and, you know, the occasional car here or there. So it's it's almost like a post, post-apocalyptic post scenario where, like, the cities have been overrun by plants, but, you know, humanity has recovered from the apocalypse and is starting to recover, which is why, you know, the city still, you know, has some overgrown plants everywhere, but you'll see, like, cars here and there, like, one or two. <laughs> But the roads are completely bumpy and barely drivable. So that's, yeah, that's what it's like to drive a car in Flight Simulator. It, the DLC, uh, it's not too pricey, I guess. Uh, I think it was cheaper than the boat, but it's still cool to have. And you can now drive across the entire world, really, with a car. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments as well. Let me know if there's anything else for me to check or look into. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.